Hi friends, welcome to my channel AB Creative World. So today I am going to make a video on how to find the arithmetic mean. So the 10th class students have these kind of sums in the statistics chapter. So there are three methods to find the arithmetic mean. They are direct method, assume mean method and step deviation method. So in the direct method, we are going to use the formula sigma. This is sigma fi xi by sigma fi. This is the first method. The second is the assumed mean method. That is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi, FI di by sigma fi. Where a is the assumed mean and the value of di is xi minus a. You have another method that is step deviation method. That is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h where h is the height of the class and ui is the xi minus a by h so these are the three different methods for finding the arithmetic mean so here in this class today i'm going to explain about how to find the mean using direct method so when we use the direct method we use direct method when the values of fi and xi are smaller that means let me show you now the question for this is the exercise 14.1 we have the first question that right? a survey was conducted by a group of students as a part of the environment awareness program in which they collected the following data regarding the number of plants in 20 houses in a locality so find the mean number of plants per house they are asking. So here they are asking you to find the mean but they didn't mention any method to use. So when they don't mention any method you can use the method of your own. So here they are asking to find the mean of this given data. Here the number of plants and the number of houses. Okay so 0 to 2 for 0 to 2 number of plants is there only one house. 2 to 4, 2. 4 to 6, 1. 6 to 8, 5. 8 to 10, 6. 10 to 12, 2. 12 to 14, 3. So here, I am using the direct method. In the direct method, there are 4 columns like this. The first one is number of plants that becomes a class interval. This is the first one you will write in the first the second one number of houses you will write in the second line. The third becomes the class mate, class marks xi. And the fourth becomes fi xi. That is fi into xi becomes the fi xi value. Here in the formula we have sigma fi xi by sigma fi. So what is the sigma fi? The sigma fi comes by adding all the values of this second column that is the frequencies. Whatever frequency they have given you have to arrange here and class marks so how are we going to find the class marks so in order to find the class marks first thing what is the first one 0 and 2 add these two 0 plus 2 by 2 you have to divide that is 0 plus 2 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 yes in the same way add these two 2 plus 4 that is 6 2 plus 4 6 divided by 2 by 2 that is 2 ones are 2 threes are 3 so these all values you will add them and divide by 2 4 plus 6 divided by 2 6 plus 8 divided by 2 8 plus 10 divided by 2 10 plus 12 divided by 2 12 plus 14 divided by 2 so here 0 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 ok 2 plus 4 divided by 2 is 3 4 plus 6 10 10 divided by 2 5 6 plus 8 divided by 2 7 8 plus 10 divided by 2 9 then 10 plus 12 divided by 2 11 14 plus 12 divided by 2 is 13 so this is how you will get the values of x i adding these both and dividing by 2 ok now what is there here fi xi how to find fi xi that is multiplying fi and xi 1 1s are 1 2 3s are 6 
वन फाइव जा फाइव फाइव सेवन जा थर्टी फाइव सिक्स नाइन जा फिफ्टी फोर टू लेवन जा ट्वेंटी टू थ्री थर्टीन जा थर्टी नाइन Now you have to add these all values. When you add these all values, you will get one hundred and sixty-two. And when I add all these values, I am getting the value twenty. Okay. Now I got f y x y values, sigma f y x y values, and I got sigma f y values. Now what is the next step? I am going to is I am going to substitute these values in the formula. Now sigma f y x y is one hundred and sixty. Now, by sigma f y value is twenty. So, what is the next step? One hundred and sixty-two should be divided by twenty. So, what is the value that I'll get after dividing by twenty is eight point one. That is the mean number of plants. The mean number of plants per house is eight point one. Therefore, the mean number of plants per house is equal to a point one. This is how you are going to solve problems on arithmetic mean using direct mean method. See, since the value of f y and x y are smaller, so then you can use the direct mean method. So by seeing the f y x y values, you'll come to know which method to be used if they didn't mention any method. So since the values are smaller, I, it will be easy for me to multiply this and add the values over here. If these values are bigger, then what are we going to do? We are going to use the assumed mean method or the step deviation method. So in this class, I just wanted to explain about the. direct method so in the next class i'll go in to explain about the deviation method and the step deviation method okay friends i hope you have understood and this will be helpful for the 10th class students thank you